Joe on Twitch. Chicho, what do you think about what's happening with Venezuela? Yeah. Boop, boop. No Nick Biggie. Salutations. Thank you very much uh, for the Twitch Prime sub, brother. Sub for 15 months. Woohoo. Right? Uh, interesting. Uh, my this is the Monroe Doctrine in large part, right? Uh, Brazil is joining OPEC Plus. Nigeria is saying that they want to join the BRICS. They will join OPEC Plus Plus Plus, maybe, right? OPEC Plus is OPEC Plus Russia, it was. Now Brazil is going to be a part of it. Venezuela at some point will be part of it. If it's not already part of it, Nigeria might become a part of it. So what we're seeing is huge blocks or block being formed to resist Western tyranny, and it is Western tyranny, and to protect their nations from the impending collapse of the Western world economically, socially, um, on every front, right? Uh, so I think these, and that's, people call it the global south. People, some people call it the global majority are really getting together right now and forming their economic blocks, not military blocks, but economic blocks, because in large part, this is economic warfare, not just geopolitically, but also internally. Our governments, Western governments, are waging economic warfare on us, our citizens of their nations. That must be obvious to anyone with a half an ounce of brain that has looked at Canada, 100% that is going on. Banks seized, froze people's bank accounts for $5 donations to a peaceful Canadian grassroots movement, economic warfare on Canadians, right? So the rest of the world is not oblivious to this, right? The trucker movement in Canada showed this. You, you had the trucker movement in Canada rise up and you had trucker convoys movements being conducted in Venezuela, in Bolivia, in Europe, in Africa, in, in uh, where else did we see it? We, we saw it in large parts of Europe. We saw it in the United States. We saw it in Mexico, right? So in Latin America, Europe, and the rest of uh, North America, Central America, we saw the trucker movement sort of mimicking the Canadian trucker movement, right? That wasn't because they thought it was cool to have a convoy that was because they saw tyranny they realized we're living under tyrannical regimes and they resisted right the tyranny rolling out in the western world basically the orange marks here okay is obvious to the global majority a lot of people in canada oh the legend sorry i gotta put the legend in canada uh, majority of people are oblivious to this they are unfortunately like I can honestly tell you many Canadians they're waking up to it slowly I'm seeing interaction with uh, I'm having interactions with people which is mind-boggling uh, to me because whoop, there's our map because I'm going into banks and bank tellers and bank manager I had a bank manager tell me that Canadian small business has been annihilated. Uh, they're having to renegotiate tons of loans with small business and individuals. The Canadian government shut down the economy in Canada for two years. Small, annihilated small business, right? They gave small business money to see them through for the amount of time that they locked them down for. And now they've come back and said, oh, that wasn't money giveaway. Right? It was a loan. So we want that money back. So the money the Canadian government gave to individuals as well and small business right, for shutting down the economy. Look at, no time in history has anything like this happened on, on this level. Right? They shut down the economy and said, okay, you guys don't need to work. Sit at home, watch social media, get on social media, watch TV. Right? <laughs> go, go boom, boom right shut down small business meanwhile walmart mcdonald's and all these wall street corporations international were allowed to stay open costco and stuff right and then they said 
will support you because we're doing this to you, right? You can call it whatever you want. I got pretty nasty words for it myself, right? And then two years later, the economy hasn't gone back up to where it was, right? Small business annihilated in towns all over Canada, right? Some of them barely making ends meet. They had to downsize. Canadian government now comes out and says that money we gave you, give it back. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know. I don't know what you say, but I say that's tyranny. Right? Did I miss Free Assange? Oh, Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange, the publisher, a journalist. Someone that's being crucified by centralized power for revealing to us what the games at play right for bringing us facts truth right as he stated wars are started with lies peace can be started with the truth right and they shut him down they got him rotting in prison in the uk crucifying a journalist what they do to Julian Assange, they are doing to us. Wake the F up. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or countless resources available on free speech platforms. Joe on censor tube. Thank you for the reminder. 